Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's David here, and today I want to show you how to get CXMB themes for your PSP um, firmware version 5.50 um, gen. Any gen firmware will work for these themes, but the plugin itself will not. Um, you need 550 gen firmware for the plugin. Um, in this case, I'll be using 550 gen D3. You're going to start off by downloading the file in the description. It should be this. Right click and click extract here. And you should get all these. Okay, right click, click new, folder, name that folder CXMB, and drag all of these into the new folder. And at this point, you don't need this anymore. Okay, so now um connect your PSP through USB go into it copy the CXMB folder into the root of your memory stick so open it and just copy it there and there okay now go into SE plugins go into vsh.txt if you don't have a text file for this just right click new text document name it VSH okay then copy this line into it um... copy this line don't worry I'll have it in the link in the description so you can just copy and paste it and save it when you exit okay so at this point we've got the plugin installed, now we need themes. For themes, go to the second link in the description. And it will be here. All of these themes are for Gen Firmware, as you see here. This is the Gen website for themes. And for example, I'll download Dynamic Glow. And by the way, you do you do need to be a member for this site um... just register it'll take like a minute and then you can download all the themes you want click download ctf once you're here and click ok and it should download okay i download mine to my downloads folder and here it is Okay, so now you got the theme. Go back into your PSP. Go into PSP. And go into your theme folder. Now drag and drop it in um, Dynamic Glow into the theme folder. Okay. Now, now you got... Um, Okay, so we're at the PSP right now, and if you go down into theme settings, it will not be there. So, um, reset your PSP, reboot it, Once your PSP reboots, go back into theme, into theme, and you'll see the theme that you downloaded. And click apply. And your PSP will once again reboot. And here's this theme. It's a pretty nice theme, but I don't think I'll keep it. And there are literally like thousands of themes on that site. So just make sure you register for it and you can download all the themes you want. And there's plenty, plenty.
many plenty of themes on there. I just use this one as an example, but all of them do work. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.